so it's been over 24 hours since I watched The Last Jedi and you would have seen my reaction of look when I got back um, yeah uh, <laughs> this is going to be the <clears throat> full review so where shall I start first of all it's a damn good film a very good film <laughs> Take this out. and uh, second of all it's a fantastic sequel mm. it actually started off where the force awakens near enough ended there's a few scenes before that bit, there's a few space scenes, a few, you know, interesting bits. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it is, well, the first 20 minutes or so is a bit like The Force Awakens, it's a bit mismatched, you don't know where it's going. Um, even when you meet Luke Skywalker and handed over the lightsaber you still don't know where it's going to go you still because of the little cheeky bits in it and the bits that you don't expect it throws you off course a bit um, which knocks you back a bit thinking oh okay what's this film going to be then you know you've seen the trailers and you've seen all them bits you're thinking well okay okay um now once you get past the Luke and the the way chatting and stuff and whatever, it, it gets it gets <coughs> up a gear and it goes higher and higher and higher. The expectations it's like wow, wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you give us all this action and comedy and and the motions, it's like wow, it's like a roller coaster ride. Far, far better than The Force Awakens did. But I still like The Force Awakens, of course. To me, I think it's on par with Rogue One and then Past Strikes Back. There are bits where you're thinking, no, they're copying the Past Strikes Back here, but no, pop that out of your mind. It's not. <laughs> you think it is, but then it's not. <laughs> the fight scenes, the lightsaber fight scenes, more martial arty. It's really fantastic. It's it's an eye opener. It's certainly a different fighting scenes that I've seen in the Star Wars film. Um, amazing, jaw dropping. The choreography. Fantastic, honestly. Um, it's things like that that make it stand out. Even the bits where you think, "Oh, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit dragging a bit, it's getting a bit boring." The one little bit of humour, then emotions. It's like, wow, you know. Then you forget how boring it was. <laughs> I'm not saying the film was boring, but there's little five-minute, ten-minute scenes. You're thinking, mm, "Okay, get on with it." <laughs> But the humour just kicks in, and then it's just like, okay, that's in the past. <laughs> uh, it's two and a half hours long. It, I would like it a bit longer. <laughs> I would like it a bit, a bit, bit longer. You know, it's. I love the new characters. Um, it's yeah, uh, and the bad guy is brilliant. You know, Adrian Edmondson. Wow, well, that's impressive. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, full, brilliant. The, the only niggle, niggly bits I find was the bit where they were racing on those little horses, horse things. I thought, mm, yeah, it reminds me a bit of Ewan McGregor on that riding on that creature. Jumps across things. I thought that was a bit, mm, yeah. 
put a part made <coughs> made a important part of the film, which understandable. Uh, but things like that in the bit where Luke Skywalker milks that creature and drinks it, that was a bit mm, cringy, cringy I think, cringy. But still, I suppose it showed how he lived and what he had to cope with on the island. Um, Carrie Fisher, fantastic, love her to bits, it's just a shame. She didn't get to see the film when it was when it was finished. Um, Mark Hamill, fantastic, brilliant. The rest of the cast, yeah, very good. Good casting as well. Um, the Pogs, let's get to the Pogs, shall we? Pogs, oh, loved them. I want one. <laughs> I thought they were great. They might have been a bit gimmicky for Disney, but who cares? It was, they were great entertainment. And they weren't stealing the limelight kind of thing. And BB-8, it wasn't much, but when he was, he, he saved the day. <laughs> Things like that were, were great. Just, yeah, well thought out. I'll give it 8.5 8 out of 10. Um, yeah. Got to wait another two years now for the ninth, as you do. The solo movie next year. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And see what happens after that. I think it's the Boba Fett story or something. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my full Star Wars Last Jedi review. And um, you must have seen so many reviews so far, so this one's not making a difference, but hey, I had to do it because I'm having a lot <laughs> So, yeah, comments, likes, let me know what you think of it, and see you soon. Tulip Pips. <laughs>